All right, guys, good old boy 32 here. Check it out. So we're going to start this series off probably the best way I know how. What we're trying to do is the Ultimate PCC. And I was good to go with the Ultimate PCC. As a matter of fact, I thought I had the Ultimate PCC until I went down there to the gathering and I saw this thing called the Helium by uh, Leadstar. Now, let's just say this. Um, pistol caliber carbine, steel challenge, or US PSA. I'm not talking about two gun where you're using the pistol caliber carbine because sometimes you're going to have to reach out. I would suggest a 16-inch barrel. Uh, but the one that I saw down there, the, B the, uh, the Helium from the guys over there at Leadstar, i.e., Palmer the State Army. That thing had the BSF barrel on it. The tiniest barrel shroud you've ever seen. Uh, Blitzkrieg uh, hydraulic buffer. And I think I have a, a Ken Shot who works in conjunction with the guys over there at Blitzkrieg. But anyway, this is uh, went out this last weekend. Uh, did some test firing. I've got to do some tweaking. Uh, put some blue Loctite on a bunch of screws on mine. But uh, what I wanted to do is I wanted to go over my ultimate pistol caliber carbine and what I think is probably the best. Now, I want to give a shout out to the guys over there at the Patreon crew. Thank you very much for your support. I really appreciate it. But this is, uh, start off, this is my Voodoo Tactical Bag. This thing's got a little bit of everything in it. If I can find, uh, I put brass in over here. So I got a ton of brass. And then, ah, yes, the Legion X5. Go ahead and make sure that's clear. Yeah, this thing is amazing with the uh, Grey Guns trigger in it. And I am shooting open class when we go down there to Talladega, which means I can use a dot on this guy. All right, and that's a Delta Point Pro. So in conjunction with this, we are doing a comparison with the, uh, what do you call it, the JP Rifles GMR-15, which is almost... And I have to admit, I did kind of copy that rifle with mine. So anyway, we got two main compartments here. Uh, let's talk about this real quickly. And we will do an individual review on this guy. This is the GMR. This is equipped with the uh, slot for the side charger, which is really convenient if you need to do that. Also, the short stroking, JP silent capture spring. It's got the JP roller trigger in here, which is really nice. This came with a five and a half inch barrel with it has a long shroud on it. Now everybody's going to, some people who question that and said why in the world are you using a, such a short barrel uh guys basically what it is this is for speed this is nothing more than anything else that you need you don't need a 16 inch barrel but to meet the the regulations uh in uspsa you have to have a 16 inch barrel so this is pretty cool that this is on here mark three handguard and uh just a regular old magpul uh stock here um what is this oh this is a hogue looks like a magpul and uh, that's it. So, looking at that, let's go ahead and pull out mine. Here she is. Now it does look very similar, but uh, what I like here, and we're gonna we're gonna do a front to back on this whole thing. So starting off on the top, I wanted to give the old school Seymour a try, and everybody's like, "Yeah, welcome back to the '80s." But yeah, man, this thing is really nice. Uh, you've got just a ring, and then there's the dot. It's very perfect. Uh, I've got a 6 MOA because I want to be able to see the dot real clearly. I run this guy right here. This is the Ace Scale I stock on uh, just about every one of my competition rifles. Now, I know we've probably done a video on this thing before, but I'm going to give you a clear, defined, detailed review of this thing. And the reason I like this is because every time I come up, it's the same. It's the same. It's the same. And it's the same on my three gun. It's the same on my backup three gun. And it's the same on one of my DMR rifles. I really do dig that. Inside this guy, I am running the pistol caliber carbine JP silent capture spring. And this is a really neat deal. Now, doesn't mean I'm going to run this thing. I am going to go ahead and probably try that uh, Blitzkrieg Ken shot deal with an AR-10 spring. Because I understand the guys are telling me that it is absolutely breathtaking in the mitigate Roy recoil mitigation. And we're going to put that to the test, hopefully. I took this guy out with the boys over there. Moneybacks test fired at a couple other people. And they said that the JP had less recoil than this. And I'm not, I don't understand how. Simply because, um, and the only reason I think maybe is that there's a little bit more weight on the bolt on the ARV. Now, here's the cool part about it. This is not just your simple, uh, what do you call it? Pistol caliber carbine. Oh, and the the ARV bolt is pretty cool. 
Uh, it is proprietary to the ARV, so you can't really run this on a different uh, pistol caliber carbine or AR9. But we're running the Rainier. Uh, really cool charging handle. This thing's pretty big. I don't know if I'm going to run this in a competition because it is huge. Uh, you don't really need it unless you run into malfunctions. And after I went ahead and made the rounds out to a full 1.150 overall length, we didn't have any issues. Uh, but the ARV platform, the cool thing about this, okay, is it allows for me to use the Scorpion magazines or, you know, for the ARV magazines. And this has the 15 round extension on it, so I'm getting close to 50 rounds. Now, that's pretty cool. I do have the drum mag for this, uh, but I don't think I'm going to run the drum mag in the competition world. And there's a reason for that. I've had issues with that drum magazine. The cool part about the ARV, not only do you have the AR-15 controls, you do have a slide lock and a slide release, and it's located right here, just like that. Very cool. One of the things I'm trying to think of, uh, and if you can help me out, leave in the comment section down below, anything that we can do to reduce recoil on this thing is what I'm looking for. Because what we're doing is we're shooting as fast as we can. We want to double tap bah, 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 in the A zones, and if we can maintain that, we're pretty cool. All right, so what we're doing, we do have the uh, 30 round magazines with the 15 round extension on it. On this particular one, I may go ahead and take the edge out of this mag well right here. Uh, it, I don't know, it depends. I don't anticipate doing a whole lot of mag changes with the 50 rounds on this thing during the stage, but you never know. I did match the Mark III handguard from JP. A lot of people don't like these things. I do. I think it's one of the best ones out there. Now, the cool part about this being a direct blowback, you don't need a gas block. But we did a video running on the Odin Works barrel. Now, I'll tell you this. After 50 yards, I, this thing's pretty accurate. I don't have any issues. It's a 5-inch barrel and just a, a welded, pin and welded shroud that comes all the way out with an integrated muzzle brake right here, which means the overall length is perfect. The weight... Uh, if I had my scales out here, I'd be able to tell you, but I'm thinking about five pounds. No big deal. Uh, in the trigger, I am running a Hyper Fire Eclipse trigger. Uh, I shoot those on several other firearms as well. Very familiar with this thing. Reset is quick. Got to be careful, though, when you're shooting a direct blowback, not to... <laughs> and you can actually... Uh, and I've got... My buddy Val did this thing when he was bump firing. We had uh, rounds that were blowing up out of battery, so it actually protruded out the side. It was interesting. It blew the mag out the bottom of it. But guys, that's it. We're going to take this. After I do the blue Loctite on it, we're going to take it, run a comparison. Uh, we're going to do a comparison on recoil. I also have the uh, OEM Factory ARV that we're going to be doing a side-by-side -side comparison. The only thing I'm going to do on that one is we're going to change out the muzzle brake to the Lead Star muzzle brake to see how well it does uh, and go from there. But with that being said, I just wanted to give you guys a real quick overview of this thing right here. It's easy. Uh, the GMR sent to the channel by my good friend, Ethan Manning, Manning & Sons. I'm going to give you a good tabletop review of this thing this week, and we'll take it out and shoot it as well. 9mm is not a problem. 5.56 is a problem. <laughs> as you see right here, I've got the uh, mass production, production over there, and then we're doing precision rounds over here while we're out of town. So with that being said, guys, let me know what your thoughts are down below. If you're into pistol caliber carbine stuff, uh, what do you think about this thing, man? Pretty cool. And I saw the ARV builder set from the Palmetto State Army guys. I had to have it. Uh, my good friend Rob, Pops Quest, he's got his. He's the one to give me the idea. And he put his thing together, all carbon fiber. It's really cool looking. With that being said, yeah, I already said that. You guys be good. Go to Boy32. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless his men, women in uniform. 24-7 for our freedom. Freedom comes in 9mm real fast, double tapping at about 10 yards. I'm out here. Y'all be good.